corn on the cob and a barbecue. These are pretty easy to do. All you gotta do first is pre-soak all your corn in the water for approximately an hour so it absorbs all the moisture. And meanwhile you want to pre-eat your barbecue to 325 to 350 max. Then we'll place them on the barbecue and cook them for approximately 25 minutes. And we want to turn them about a quarter turn every five minutes or so. And the trick is, is to get the, all the other, other husk all nice and golden brown. That's when you know when they're ready. And to make sure we'll, when we're cooking, we'll cut a little slit and when they're all golden, make sure the inside is well cooked. And it's that simple and we'll get on to it. Okay, now I have my grill preheated to 325. Now it's time to put the corn on. I got my corn that was already pre-soaked. Now we'll put them on the grill. Now that the corn's all on the grill, we'll now wait about five minutes to turn them about a quarter turn. As you can see, the corn is almost ready. You can see the nice golden color. I just turned it there for the last five minutes, so in five minutes it should be ready. Okay, now you basically want to cut a slit like I did here, and to check see if the, your corn inside is nice and tender. What you want basically is the corn to be nice and tender. If they're nice and tender, they're ready. Right now it just needs a little, tiny little bit more. As you can see, they're coming along very well. Okay, now that the corn and cob is ready, I'll show you a very easy way to take these out of the, out of the, uh, the husk. But I'll make a big mess. First thing I'm going to do is take off the, the loose, the loose ends off. All the loose is off. Now you want to cut, let's say, on the opposite end here, you see where the, the hair is, and you got the, the husk here, where the husk is, about an inch, I'd say about a half inch, and just cut, come down and cut it through. Now you just grab by the hair and, uh, and just peel off the, the axis that once come off. Now the corn and cob will fall just right up, like so. That's simple. Now you have a nice corn and cob.